Bună ziua! Am plăcerea să îl prezint pe noul antrenor al echipei noastre, Elias Caralambus. Am pronunțat bine. Am pronunțat bine. Um, își voi ruga să spună câteva cuvinte, după care uh, să se supună tirului întrebărilor dumneavoastră. If you would like to say a few words. Yes. Um, okay. Hello to everybody. Uh, I'm really happy to meet you for the first time, and I'm sure we will have a long uh, and good communication between us during the season. And uh, thank you for welcoming me, me in uh, Romania. Really, I'm happy to join this big club because we all know and I know very well the history of the club. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Gigi and uh, Mr. Meme and all the, all the people around the club that selected me to have this uh, special role of the head coach of this club. As I told you, I know very well the history and I know Romania very well because I'm here, I was here before. And the only thing I want to say from my side is that uh, I will give everything until the end of the season to reach our targets. And uh, with the help of all the staff around us and the players, we'll try to make the best for this club for the season. That's all from my side. Name My name is quite big, no? It's long. Uh, Elias Haralambus. So, I think you will get it easy. Uh, when do you find uh, about uh, Stella's interest in you? And uh, what, uh, which one was your first thought? When did when I? When do you find? When do you find about uh, Stella's interest? When? Did you when? Learn about When, when I knew the interest of Steaua? Yes, yes, yes. And what do you think about it? Uh, okay, it was uh, like three weeks ago. It was the first interest. And, uh, okay, I had uh, my agent speaking with the club. Uh, from the first moment that, I, that they told me about Steaua, I said direct I was interested because I knew the, the variety of the club. Uh, how big club it is, and uh, really, I was so excited just hearing the name of Steaua, and I'm very happy that I'm here. Really, very happy. But uh, why do you think the club chose you? Um, uh, for sure, the club, uh, before getting a coach, and uh, everybody, be before selecting somebody, they, ma they make a, a scouting, they ask uh, different people, so they get information. Uh, for sure, and I'm sure that the club made this for me. They took some information, and that's why I'm here. What was the your reaction when Meme called you? Something like that is it's a joke, or? We uh, spoke through the agent, so I didn't call uh, directly did. Elias. So. <laughs> what kind so, of, uh, what's your philosophy, like a coach? What kind of coach do you think you are, and uh, who you work? with during your coach career as or player and you learn from some coaches some big names yes i i am a type of coach that i have i made my philosophy because okay i had the luck to work with uh, uh, top coaches that uh, are coaching now in europe like uh, mr raola i had i worked with fernando santos uh, i i believe you all know him i work with mr niagez Uh, okay, the, I mean, my philosophy was uh, working with this kind of coaches. I took what I liked because this is how a coach built his philosophy. He takes what he likes from each coach and then you put your own ideas and you make your philosophy. Uh, just a brief, uh, I mean, uh, in some words, how I like to work, my way of uh, plays, the way that Uh, Steaua wants to play, it's control of the game, fast transition after we lose the ball high, and uh, we are the team that we want to dominate, and we have to control the game. You meet, Do you all, you meet uh, Pintili here? I meet him. I, you meet, you have met him? Of course, of course. And uh, what's the relation? 
Uh, Pindili is uh, part of uh, my staff and uh, really he's a great guy, like uh, all the staff around the team. Uh, I told you from the first day that uh, I met a very nice atmosphere in the team, in the club. Uh, very nice facilities and I believe it's one uh, important point for a team to do well. If you have a great atmosphere and uh, good facilities to work, I think the rest uh, comes on us then to put our ideas for the team to do well. Do you already know the, the, the team, the players and the, the internal championship? Uh, of course, I'm uh, now from the day that uh, there was interest from the club, even from before I started to work on the team because I like to prepare everything before I join a club. And uh, in communication with Mr. Meme every day and with the staff, Cut me stuff, please. It's so easy. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, I, I like to know everything about our team, about the rest of the teams. And I watched many, many games of uh, Romanian League. After a few trainings, what do you think? The fight for the title is very hard. What do you think? Can Stella be champion this year? The thing I saw from the first day is the quality of the, of the players. Really, I'm, uh, I'm surprised and happy that we have this kind of quality in the team. Uh, and not only from the trainings, I saw uh, some games. For sure, we have things to improve. Everybody has things to improve. Uh, this is uh, sure, but uh, I cannot speak for long term. I just want to speak for the next game tomorrow, that the only thing we can speak for is for the next game. Our next game is tomorrow. We have to be focused on this game to win the three points, and then from uh, Tuesday, we can see the next, the next opponent, can step by step. Can you tell us about uh, the next opponent, uh, Chelsea? What do you know about uh, Okay, it's uh, a good team. They have a good home with good fans. Uh, thanks God, they have a good stadium so we can play our game. And uh, all the games now in the playoff uh, will be difficult. Starting from tomorrow, we know that we will face a difficult game, a good team. They have the way of play, and uh, we studied the game that uh, Sepsi plays. We have our idea, and uh, we will try to take the three points. You are in front of uh, your first game here. How do you feel? Are you maybe nervous? Excited. But before you came here, which players from uh, FCSB did you know? First of all, um, I knew quite a lot of players, not everybody, but I, I know the players, there are many players in the national teams, I watch the national teams, uh, I tried to follow all the leagues, and uh, okay, uh, I, don't, I don't want to speak personally for each, kind, each player, uh, because uh, it will not be fair, but I knew many players of the team. In these days, uh, and uh, if you, and these days in trainings, what are the most uh, important players that uh, impressed you? May you give us a name? <laughs> I told you before, I don't like to speak about names. I'm a coach that uh, believes in the collective work. And uh, the most important thing I, is that I saw that the team has quality. And it doesn't matter if it's one or two players. Uh, I mean, it's not, it doesn't count for me. I believe a lot in the quality and in the team spirit. So for the things to be clear, yes. you'll have the full responsibility of the results because before you, the things were different here. Of the results? Yes. You have the full responsibility of the results and of the decisions, technical decisions of the club. Of course, to be here, uh, this was uh, the first thing that I had to clear with the club that uh, from the moment that I will take care of the club, I have to have all the responsibilities and all the decisions. If I didn't have this... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, this thing, I wouldn't be here now speaking uh, from this position. Uh, this, I want to make it clear from the first day. And uh, the only thing I want to speak for is about football and not the rest, because I know we are, we live in, uh, I live in Cyprus. The mentality is the same, it's similar, you know, many times uh, we remember, that's what I was speaking with Mehmet the other time, that we remember only the bad moments, you know. I was a player before you give me a good pass. I was a player, I won many titles. And I used to make one mistake in, in one game, Europa League. And some people meet me in the street and they say, you remember that mistake that you made? I say, yes, but I made so many good things. You, re you only remember the mistake I did. So just 
brackets to. Did you speak with someone before your trip, Yusuf, or someone from Romania? Look, first of all, uh, I trust a lot my agents, and uh, from the moment that my agent told me that the things are good, but I told you, listening from the name, only from the name of Steawa, for me it was something very interesting. But then you have to, I, for sure I have to take information. My agent knew many things. I have many good friends because I used to play, like you all know before in Romania and Bastui. I have some good friends. I spoke and everybody told me the best for the club. You were, you were surprised when the news of came? Excited. Not surprised? I was excited. How do you expect uh, that your relationship with uh, the owner of the team, with uh, Mr. Dick De Calis, how it will be? Look, uh, because I, I was before in Romania, I know, I know many things, okay? I think we give men uh, too much, uh, how you say, attention. Uh, okay, because Mr. Begali, his, his personality, and he says the things like he feels, you know. There are many other presidents that make, I mean, uh, things that they are quiet and we don't know, you know. So from the day I'm here, I met Mr. Begali once for 10 minutes. That was all. He didn't call me. He didn't come to the training. He li he. He leaves, he leaves the coach to make his job. So I met a very, very good person, and I'm thankful to meet this person because he's a big name in Romania. He helps many people, you all know, more than me. And, okay, I think uh, it's no reason to speak all the time about this subject. I'm here to speak about football, and I think this is the mo most important for me. Mr. Bekali is like Each one has his personality, different characters. It doesn't matter if uh, Mr. Begali is Mr. Begali, Boroboyo is Boroboyo. So each one has his uh, character and personality. What did uh, Mr. Begali tell you when you met him? He told me that he was happy that in the club, do your job. Uh, and uh, he wished me to win the, the championship with the team and he would be very happy. And this is what we have to give him back as a team in the club because you know how he loves this club, this team, and he will be very happy if we be able to win the championship. How is uh, Tavi Popescu feeling? Okay, uh, Popescu was uh, injured during the, his time in the national team, as you know. It will, it, this could happen even in the training of us, so it doesn't matter where he was injured. Uh, for the game tomorrow, we will not have him, but uh, we try to prepare him to be ready for the next game because he's an important player of the team, and we want to have as many players as possible in the squad so we uh, have all the players fit. Manager for 